They want a, an expansion that doesn't change the level. That's what they want. Yeah, true. It's Literally, people want Classic Plus. They want just as much new content in Classic to make it feel like Classic still to them, but not enough to make it feel like not Classic. And also, I think they're going to go down a rough path with like quality of life stuff. And they're just going to probably end up having to repeat some of the mistakes that they've already made. Oh, God, we don't have a knife dance counter. No! Yeah, we died. I was way too not prepared for this. Worst time? Oh, okay. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, that. Not a knife. Oh, man. I was like, that's Ursula so looked like that knife. Thing. Crazy. Hey, look at that. Uh, like, literally three attempts versus Holy. Holy, you learned the whole fucking thing. Also, a little spammy. Fucking use. Area more, more. All right, back to Zarya. Oh, Some people have very specific things they wanted and don't want to accept that this is it. Yeah, true. It's Classic Plus without the potential for Blizzard to screw up by launching Classic Plus. You only get to launch Classic Plus. Oh, true. This format gives them a fun, community-friendly way to test changes and new content. I agree. This is a really That's good smart. take. This is a really good. Whoops. This is a really good take because yeah, it's season of discovery for them to find out what classic plus should be and what we have in a year and a half from now after a lot of trial and error is probably what classic plus is going to end up being is the level 60 game where um we we end up after a bunch of players complaining things are added things are removed etc 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 we have like a bunch of iterations to work through at level 25 40 50 60. my concern is a lot of stuff doesn't need to be added a lot of stuff probably needs to be removed. And when you start with adding in a ton and then you start pruning things, people get upset. Because for example, can't like the book. a lot of people are upset about like healer mages, but also a lot of people are excited about healer mages. And it's like, if you added I put swiftness mages, on so end for now. Five, and then the level 40 I expand, need that uh, shit now. You know, time gate thing unlocks. And then you remove healer mage, people are going to be upset because you already, it's like giving a kid candy then taking it away, right? And, um, uh, <laughs> So they're kind of in a pickle in that sense. No public knowledge on it is the single most exciting thing for me so far. Yeah, I agree. I think having no PTR. I think that's no great. Beta, they should do that three tail, but that's never going to fucking here. Like, imagine. Really awesome day one world first monkeys. Just just randomly look for mm. and have nobody know what's going on. You can't test it. You're going to have the PTR to be buggy. Let's not fool ourselves here. A week after it comes out, there's probably going to be an add on called Rune Finder. <laughs> and you download the add on, and it'll tell you step by step on how to get every damn rune. Very, That's very just crazy. the world we live in now, boys. It's 2023. Yeah, we can do that without so putting on a PTR, so. To think if that's not going to happen, right? You have to do that shit yourself. You have to do that. You have to. Listen. Uh, anybody who wants to give me this. Uh, like, yeah, there's the world we live in and, like, how much information is available and how easily people can just, like, do stuff and to bypass mechanics and while. But it's also, like, you don't have to fucking... This isn't, like... I don't know. I don't know a good example off the top of my head, but I, I, I think having that Rune Finder add-on, I don't know. Because it's still classic WoW. It's still easy. They're not really going to be worried about damages. Uh damage checks and stuff like that. This is more of like a kind of an ego pad thing more than it is in retail. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't... I'm not sure I... I'm starting to get they're setting up. I swear a classic player could get exactly what they asked for but still bitch about it. Yeah, I mean, it's tricky because we basically... Like, as a classic community, I think players want Classic WoW, period. But after having Classic WoW for four years, yeah, people boring. are wanting Classic 
plus. Now, already that's going to be an issue. Why? Well, classic plus automatically insinuates there's going to be changes. But if you do the wrong changes, people are upset. I talked about this like three weeks ago on my stream. That it's going to be an issue because anything Blizzard does is going to be... People are going to retaliate, right? Because it's not what they wanted. But... At the end of the day, Classic Plus is adding changes to Classic. So it's like, okay, you want changes to Classic, but you don't want changes to Classic. Which one is it? And you're kind of stuck in the middle. So that's why the conclusion I came to um, is pulling the community on 75% pull. Uh, yeah, that's what they do in RuneScape. Wins, and you kind of just ask, okay. Uh, OSRS. The heal mage spec, pull the Anything that changes the game, they have to pass 75%. Any less, don't. Okay. Should we add a Karazhan dungeon to classic? 75% want it? Add it. Under 75? Don't add it. That's, that's my take. That's my take. I mean, yeah. Done. I think for classic... Also, I don't think everybody should be able to... Everybody should vote, but... <laughs> classic is such a community-driven uh, experience. Kind of, not just in It almost can't be any other way. For retail, maybe that's not the best option to move forward but I so this is all timed by the way a five minute timer so i'm pretty sure i'm fine driven in the community feels like they want the game to go in a certain direction you just give it you give the game to the community as a love letter and say this is your game do with what you want with it we'll develop it but you guys choose the direction it goes is the best move forward. i think love letters i think curate OSRS the fucking game like a success. as a museum piece apparently osrs is still peaking in player and like uh a player base and they're doing great mm -hmm. and overall osrs is a, a massive success Easy. is it perfect probably not Are there oh, i'm not gonna be able to do this healing part but i don't know <laughs> It's goaded, it's still going strong, it's a great game. Yeah, I don't think you can look at OSRS and be like, well, what a failure. It's like, well, what do you mean? By what standards is that a failure? If you are part of the 25% of the community that doesn't want something, and you end up quitting the game because of it, that's yeah, just why am I talking? If, if I'm in a minority of people, and 75% of the player base wants a new raid, and I'm the 25% I mean, that they add a new raid, and I'm mad because of it, then I'm just entitled, period. Like, if 75% of the players want something, then let it happen, because that's what the majority of people want. Sorry. Like, uh, that's just the damn truth. And what's cool about a polling system is, like, at the end of the day, if you vote something in and it ends up being shit, then you can vote it back out a couple months later, or weeks, or whatever the hell. Like... It say you vote in mage healers because everyone's like that would be fun, right? And then, uh, like it turns it's like, out that like it's not fun. Everyone's like, no, this feels really bad. Or this is dumb. They're also the best it's healer. <laughs> change directions. Like that's the kind of cool thing about giving the players the power in that sense. Isn't that what's been going on since vanilla? Blizzard followed what people wanted and made consistently worse decisions. There was I mean, never a Blizzard poll asking what players wanted. For like the next retail. All right, we're gonna fuck this up. Is, just for the record, just gonna go uh, poll asking what worse than I wanted to. Never seen a community poll that Blizzard's put on. Actually, I, I saw the Cataclysm. Oh, you know what? I probably wanted. There, there, there was there was one about like Cata versus Tree of Life. Tree of Life? Classic Plus. I saw that poll. That was like one big but Tree of Life retail. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen that. In addition, I don't. Yeah, okay, you do. I remember a watching a video specifically. I'm gonna try and try the first set too. I don't. I, Second set. can find me the link. But Blizzard said something like this. I'm gonna paraphrase this terribly, but they did say this. Blizzard said, "Our philosophy is about building the games that we mm. want to play." I may not have been bought. Blizzard said, and I'm paraphrasing this probably terribly, but something along the lines of Blizzard said, we want to make the games and build the games that we want to play. We you hear that absolute quote that Zarya just told us that Blizzard said? I can't believe they said that direct word for word. Meaning Blizzard. Maybe we are. Jesus, can't we? Like you. Specifically, they said we. So I think the direction retail has taken over the past decade has not been player driven. The last year or two, I think it has been. I think they've done a great job in the last couple of years. But the last decade before that, specifically what I not player-driven. I don't know what I let through. Yeah, live on stage. Just saying. 
You're thinking too hard into that? No, the, the community was pretty upset about it. I'm not thinking that's absolutely what they meant. Yeah, they explained it. That's absolutely what they meant. Anyway, I do think there's a point to be made about players not knowing what they want. That's the whole you think you do but you don't. I think that's a fair I think I think uh I think there's still a point to be made there. I'm, I'm not saying like it's hundred percent this way. Jared I think Jared with pulling I, Jared, you know, Callie, that's fine. That's Granny fine. there's an argument to be made, sure. Oh whatever. fuck. But I still think overall the flaws that we're gonna have with the polling system for classic WoW specifically, I'm talking not talking retail here, is is probably the direction they should move in. <clears throat> I think we want to classic uh, 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 The problem with listening to the community is you can't just listen to the community animated? because there's a bunch of people echoing the opinions of the vocal minority. Right? And you see that problematic in real life too. But that's another discussion. But like for Blizzard to make a change based oh, on what oh, they read oh, on the forums, like sort of? one person complaining about yeah. something that nobody else cares about. Okay, what do we have? Uh, that's two, two night uh, Done, right? And a bow boy. Please make sure the world is still dangerous. Fuck yeah. Increase of player power. Yeah, that's a really great point. Let's see what this guy says. I am super excited, but I see with SOD, but with all these new class tools, I really don't want to chain pull the leveling experience like we do in retail. I think it's a really fair point. 2K upvotes. Wish I could upvote twice. Amen. Jared, 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 Jared. One through twenty-five Jared, might be cunt. fine, but I'm curious how they intend to implement twenty-five or thirty-five for whatever the next range. Like, is. what's this? Yeah. So this is kind of like the Asimov thing that we watched earlier oh, shit. today. It's like, uh, yeah. oh, are you going to use Chaos Bolt and just one shot? Oh, uh, we're fine. Day, we're actually going to be fine. Out of nowhere yesterday's, uh, yesterday, as fans... I got mana stung, stung, by the way. Bosses, <laughs> the zero mechanics, uncoordinated tank and spank. Do you know they were over good for entertainment or is it just easy? I would guess that they, it's just kind of an easier fight. I don't think... They're supposed to make these like mechanical challenge, like mechanically challenging fights, like nice. um, retail, <laughs> right? I think. I like a food. You look at classic Probably that one. The fights aren't mechanically challenging, like even. Dude, what's what's my fucking bags lately? Um, like I don't even use a bag at all. Um, so you would probably presume that a level 25 raid it wouldn't be like that difficult. A level 25 raid you is meant to be bitch. an introductory raid that you do with your friends that's fun and you get some loot and you bring people together and it's a unique experience. I think maybe those were more of the things they were going for. Uh, yesterday they actually did state that BFD is lightly tuned. They're, like that, That's what they're going for, right? Lightly tuned. There's a new Dragonflight patch coming out. I'm probably going to go and play. Yeah, that's way too high, but it still didn't matter. Okay. All right. See, we're actually. Holy business. Dude, what the Ursul do we do? No, okay. I didn't fucking matter. Like, at all. Gotcha. Okay, so we have plenty of no health. Yeah, okay. We're going to trank after this. Blow up and then we're gonna fucking hit our thing. Oh, you know what? Damn, yeah, I'm a suck. By the way, you ever spec into fucking tree boys and never use them? I was the first time I ever ever had the ability. I can just up now again. It's like a boom. Hooey. That ad in the face giving me the, the strength. Okay, well, that's fucking two shot boomy. Of what? Ah. Holy shit. Those are forces. 
Kirin Tor will be pleased to learn of our victory. All right, let's fucking go now. <laughs> the live of uh, the holy video of me literally dying. I I was like off. Oh my god. Also, Reed Genesis didn't use that or invigorate. Also, these boys are fucking. Look at all those, like those wild growths all stacked on top of each other. That's what they need to not do if they want to not be OP and shit. By the way, so you're welcome, Blizzard. Well, hell, we did a heal challenge for 4.11 a.m. Okay. All right, fuck yeah. 